Hey guys, how's it going? What was the last thing you drew? Tell me that down below as the comment of the day. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you some stuff. I've been reading your comments and I've noticed ever since I did my last digital video that a lot of you have either messaged me or commented in my videos asking what kind of drawing tablet I use for digital artwork. Well, coincidentally, I'm going to be opening a new tablet in this video today, and I'm super, super excited to do this. This is actually a tablet company I have looked up in the past, and I've considered getting one of their tablets, and out of nowhere, I checked my email, and they offered to send me one. I'm going to be unboxing this so you guys can just see everything in the box, and then I will review it as I use it and give you my honest opinions as always and I hope this helps some of you guys. I know a lot of you kind of come to me not really knowing what tablet to get and um, I hear so many good things about this brand so I hope that it helps you guys. Anyway, the tablet is called the Parblo Mass 10 and we are gonna unbox it now. This is the Parblo Mast 10, and you can see that it's a rather large tablet. This is a big box. <laughs> so when they sent this to me, I was like, what's the huge box at my doorstep? I don't remember ordering anything this large. And then I opened it and was like, oh yeah, the tablet. I didn't think it would be this huge. This is sweet. This version, the Mast 10, is like an upgraded version of another tablet they have which is the Parvolo Coast 10, and I'm going to link everything down below if you're interested. You can look through their tablets online and all of their social media and everything will be below. So if you like what you see, scroll down to my description and you can check out their shop. Anyway, this tablet is really cool because if you use like Photoshop or any sort of drawing program, you know that there are keyboard shortcuts, right? But with a tablet, you know, you don't really have the keyboard like right there unless you like adjust everything awkwardly. So this has shortcut keys that you can kind of like program and there's six shortcut keys. So that's really cool. Whoa, this comes in a fancy box. Wow, this box is so fancy. Look at this. Do you see that? Like this looks so nice. This is crazy. Okay. Whoa. Dude, guys. They have like a case for it with buttons and everything. That's so cute. So inside they tell you about what kind of tablets they have in this little pamphlet. Again, I will leave links below if you want to check them out yourself and you can see what kind of tablets they have. Whoa, it's like a lot lighter than I thought it would be. The box is like really heavy, you know? So I thought it would be really heavy, but this is really sleek. Whoa. This is so cool. So this is the drawing tablet, and you can see my umbrella lights in the background. But yeah, these are the shortcut keys on the side. You see them here? I was looking for the stylus and it completely, this little box here blended in with everything else. I couldn't find it for the longest time. Wow, this is so nice. So this is the stylus and it is super duper lightweight. It's very pretty too, I like that golden band. So this holds additional tips for the stylus and you can replace them so you can keep on drawing. Such a cute little case too. Okay, I am going to have my husband help me set this up because I'm not very tech savvy. And after that, we're gonna draw and it's gonna be fun. So stay tuned. I'm starting off in slow-mo so you can see how I began. I decided to loosely sketch in the beginning so I could get the feel of it. The alignment was really hard for me to get used to at first. I mean, it wasn't super bad or anything. It's very easy to get the hang of. I think within 10 minutes I felt pretty comfortable, but it was really strange for me to kind of find my cursor underneath the stylus, so 
that was an adventure, but it was really easy. And if you're wondering what size this is, I did not mention it yet. It is 10.1 inches. It's huge. It's great. I love it. And this is just the medium one, I think. I think there's a bigger one. Anyway, you can program those shortcut keys yourself. I'm a lefty, so I kind of customize this a little bit to my liking. But you can see I'm wearing this weird thing on my hand. And when I opened this box up, I didn't show it before, but they sent me this glove. And I was like, what is this? Here, it is this genius thing that prevents the oils from your hands from rubbing onto the tablet. And it just makes drawing so much smoother. Like your hand just slides across it better. I don't know how to describe it, but it is wonderful and I love it. So yeah. I think that was one of the best things that was included in this. <laughs> it was awesome. So that is probably one of my favorite things about this whole thing. But I really, really love how you can see what you're drawing directly on the tablet. I, I usually do like very simple digital drawings. I never really shoot for realistic stuff and I find it's very hard for me to do more like realistic or semi-realistic artwork in Photoshop or other drawing programs. And I think it became so much easier with this because it just felt like I was drawing on paper. It was way more intuitive and I felt so comfortable after doing it for 10, 20 minutes. One thing I did notice is that sometimes the stylus can be a little scratchy on the screen. Um, and then if you look at the screen from an angle, you can kind of see where you drew before. It's not really a big deal though. Um, I'm sure, I'm probably sure it maybe wipes off. I'm not really sure. But it doesn't really bother me that much. I think it's just because it's brand new and I'm breaking it in. So you have to expect that. And I really love the resolution of this. Um, I kind of waited to transfer this image back to my Mac screen because I just wanted to have fun doing this and really enjoy my first experience with this. So when I was finished, I transferred this image to my computer screen. And I was so shocked because the resolution on this <laughs> tablet is wicked amazing. I mean, I kind of expected the drawing to not look that great just because I was like doing it by hand on a tablet. And I don't know, they just, they shocked me and it was awesome. I was so delighted with the result. So... Since I was doing this drawing on this kind of tablet, it was my first experience, it just felt right to me to do way less layers. So I did a layer for her skin, a layer for the under sketch, a layer for the hair, a layer for the lips, a layer for the background, and a layer for the shirt. I didn't do any more than that. I just kind of had fun blending and everything as I went, and it worked out great. This was so fun, like, I had a blast, and I felt like I had more freedom to kind of do what I imagined in my head, because it was so intuitive to do this on the actual tablet. Like, the screen showing up on the tablet is just such a difference maker for me, so, yeah. I definitely think I'm going to be doing a lot more digital art now, because... This just made it so much more fun and I enjoyed it a lot. But anyway, yeah, I think I really like more of the semi-realistic style and I'm curious to see how a more simplified style would be with this too, so may have to try that. The hair was so much fun to draw. You guys know that hair is like my favorite thing to draw in general, but yeah, with it being Digital, I usually simplify it because it's really hard for me to get it to flow nicely. But this was so easy. It just, it felt natural and I loved it. So, yeah. The eyes were probably the hardest thing for me to draw on this, but 
I kind of used the liquify tool. It's in the filters tab. And I adjusted it here and there. So it worked out. Anyway, yeah, all in all, I really loved using this and I'm going to continue using this. My old tablet was a Wacom tablet and it does not have like the actual screen on the tablet. So you have to look up at your computer while you're drawing and I kind of feel like it's nice to use that and all, but this is so much better. <laughs> and to top it off, the pressure sensitivity on this is great. So, if you're one of the people who really likes the thickness of your pen changing with your pressure sensitivity, this is great. I loved it. If you are interested, I'll put the links down below, but yeah, I just wanted to do this review and give my honest opinions. As I said, the only thing that really bothered me with this was the alignment at first but I easily adjusted and it didn't bother me after that like at all and I kind of feel like the screen is a little scratchy with the nib of the stylus so yeah if there are more options for nibs I think that would help maybe but it could just be because I'm breaking it in so I'm not sure other than that I have no complaints and I can't wait to use this again you will probably see this in videos in the future because this was awesome and I had a blast. A big thank you to the people at Parblo for sending me this tablet to review. This was a complete joy to try and I'm so thankful for the opportunity to do this. If you are new to my arts channel, feel free to thumbs up and subscribe to join our art family. We are very fun here and we love to talk in the comments down below. So you're more than welcome to introduce yourself. Let me know how you found my channel. Let me know what you like to draw, whatever it is. Let me know what tablet you use and if you've ever tried a Parbolo tablet before. Anyway, have a wonderful day and I'm about to show you the final picture. Okay. Until next time, I will see y'all. Is that how you say it? See you next time. See you later. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. And here's the final. Peace.